Yovhalim Jubilees 4. And in the third week, in the second Jubilee, she gave birth to Cain. And in the fourth, she gave birth to Havael. And in the fifth, she gave birth to her daughter, Awan. And in the first year of the third Jubilee, Cain slew Havel because Elohim accepted the sacrifice of Havel and did not accept the offering of Cain. And he slew him in the field, and his blood cried from the ground to heaven, complaining because he had slain him. And Yahuwah repro reproved Cain because of Havel, because he had slain him, and he made him a fugitive on the earth because of the blood of his brother, and he cursed him upon the earth. And on this account it is written on the heavenly tablets, Cursed is he who smites his neighbor treacherously. And let all who have seen and heard say, So be it. And the man who has seen and not declared it, let him be accursed as the other. And for this reason we announce, when we come before Yahuwah Eloheinu, all the sin which is committed in heaven and on earth and in light, and in darkness, and everywhere. And Adam and his woman mourned for Havel, four weeks of years, and in the fourth year of the fifth week they became joyful. And Adam knew his woman again, and she bore him a son, and he called his name Shet, for he said, Yahuwah has raised up a second seed unto us on the earth instead of Havel. For Cain slew him, and in the sixth week he begat his daughter Azura. And Cain took Awan, his sister, to be his woman, and she bore him Chanak, at the close of the fourth jubilee. And in the first year of the first week of the fifth jubilee, houses were built on the earth, and Cain built a city, and called its name after the name of his son, Chanak. And Adam knew Chua, his woman, and she bore yet nine sons. And in the fifth week of the fifth jubilee, Shet took Azura, his sister, to be his woman. And in the fourth year of the sixth week, she bore him Enosh. He began to call on the name of Yahuwah on the earth. And in the seventh jubilee, in the third week, Enosh took Noam, his sister, to be his woman and she bore him a son in the third year of the fifth week, and he called his name Canaan. And at the close of the eighth jubilee, Canaan took Mua Eleth, his sister, to be his woman, and she bore him a son in the ninth jubilee, in the first week, in the third year of this week, and he called his name Mahalal. And in the second week of the tenth jubilee, Mahalalel took unto him to be his woman Dinah, the daughter of Barakil El, the daughter of his father's brother. And she bore him a son in the third week in the sixth year, and he called his name Yared. For in his days the angels of Yahuwah descended on the earth. Those who are named the watchers, that they should instruct the children of men, and that they should do judgment and uprightness on the earth. And in the eleventh jubilee, Yered took to himself a woman, and her name was Baraka, the daughter of Rasujal, a daughter of his father's brother. 
in the fourth week of this jubilee, and she bore him a son in the fifth week, in the fourth year of the jubilee, and he called his name Chanak. And he was the first among men that are born on earth who learned writing and knowledge and wisdom and who wrote down the signs of heaven according to the order of their months in a sefer, that men might know the seasons of the years according to the order of their separate months. And he was the first to write a testimony, and he testified to the sons of men among the generations of the earth, and recounted the weeks of the jubilees, and made known to them the days of the years, and set in order the months, and recounted the Shabbatot of the years as we made them known to him. And what was and what will be, he saw in a vision of his sleep, as it will happen to the children of men throughout their generations until the day of judgment. He saw and understood everything and wrote his testimony and placed the testimony on earth for all the children of men and for their generations. And in the twelfth jubilee, in the seventh week thereof, he took to himself a woman, and her name was Edna, the daughter of Danel, the daughter of his father's brother. And in the sixth year, in this week, she bore him a son, and he called his name Mathuselech. And he was moreover with the angels of Elohim these six jubilees of years. And they showed him everything which is on earth and in the heavens, the rule of the sun, and he wrote down everything. And he testified to the watchers who had sinned with the daughters of men, for these had begun to unite themselves so as to be defiled with the daughters of men, and Chanak testified against them all. And he was taken from amongst the children of men, and we conducted him into the Garden of Eden in majesty and honor. And behold, there he writes down the condemnation and judgment of the world and all the wickedness of the children of men. And on account of it, Elohim brought the waters of the flood upon all the land of Eden. For there he was set as a sign, and that he should testify against all the children of men, that he should recount all the deeds of the generations until the day of condemnation. And he burnt the incense of the sanctuary, even sweet spices, acceptable before Yahuwah on the mount. For Yahuwah has four places on the earth, the Garden of Eden, and the Mount of the East, and this mountain on which you are this day, Mount Sinai, and Mount Sion which will be sanctified in the new creation for a sanctification of the earth. Through it will the earth be sanctified from all its guilt and its uncleanness throughout the generations of the world. And in the fourteenth jubilee, Methuselah took unto himself a woman, Edna, the daughter of Azir al, the daughter of his father's brother, in the third week, in the first year of this week. And he begat a son and called his name Lamech. And in the fifteenth jubilee, in the third week, Lamech took to himself a woman, and her name was Betanas, the daughter of Baraki el the daughter of his father's brother. And in this week she bore him a son, and he called his name Noach, saying, This one will comfort me for my trouble and all my work, and 
for the ground which Yahuwah has cursed. And at the close of the 19th Jubilee, in the seventh week, in the sixth year thereof, Adam died and all his sons buried him in the land of his creation. And he was the first to be buried in the earth. And he lacked 70 years of 1,000 years. For 1,000 years are as one day in the testimony of the heavens, and therefore was it written concerning the tree of knowledge. On the day that ye eat thereof ye shall die. For this reason he did not complete the years of this day, for he died during it. At the close of this jubilee, Cain was killed after him in the same year, for his house fell upon him, and he died in the midst of his house. And he was killed by its stones, for with a stone he had killed Havel, and by a stone was he killed in righteous judgment. For this reason it was ordained on the heavenly tablets, with the instrument with which a man kills his neighbor, with the same shall he be killed. After the manner that he wounded him, in like manner shall they deal with him. And in the twentieth, rather, twenty-fifth jubilee, Noah took to himself a woman, and her name was Emzara, the daughter of Rekiel, the daughter of his father's brother, in the first year, in the fifth week. And in the third year thereof, she bore him Shem. In the fifth year thereof, she bore him Cham. And in the first year, in the sixth week, she bore him Yepheth.